Shalom. All oh, praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rachakodash. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, whom the world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai being the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, and the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the house of David, those men that are doing this work in sincerity and truth, the hopeful elect, and you one third of you believers out there, uh, you men, women, and children. That are listening to this gospel and believing um you so-called blacks hispanics and native americans are the children of israel according to the holy bible the uh the hopeful one-third uh seeking salvation and redemption upon the the day of judgment of our lord and savior yahweh shai so uh lord willing this lesson is edifying through the spirit so as you can see um in the background here it says, Kid Cudi hit Saturday Night Live stage in an off-white dress. You know, um, I got a, I got probably about six scriptures that I really want to get on this situation. You know, this is one of those open, closed cases when it comes to to us because we already know what's up when it comes to these uh, so-called celebrities, these performers, and when they do things like this, right? We already know the agenda. But, you know, and this is another thing. This is second uh, uh, SNL. You know, they, they coming at Jake with a hard hitter. You know, they, they swinging left and right at our people. And people who watch this show, mainly Edomites be out there. But this is a popular show. But they just making our people look bad, man. All right. And that's a part of their agenda. They use uh, these, what do they say, media, the medium. They use these medium, all right, these sorceries as witchcraft in order to uh, convey wicked left-hand messages to our people, all right, and to the world, okay? And so, Kid Cudi, man, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. If ain't nobody else told you, and if you so happen to hear this, man, you ought to be a damn shame of yourself, man, you know, because this don't make any sense. This is this is how, how low you stooped, you know? And uh, at the end of the day, we know it's all a part of the game. Right, y'all got to sell your soul. You got to get out here and get you in a dress. You know, we already know what's up. But let me start with this. Um, This is Isaiah 9 and 16. It says, For the leaders of this people cause them to err, and they that are led of them are destroyed. You see that? The the, the, the so-called leaders of our people, right? You got uh these celebrities. You got these stars. You got these so-called political leaders. That are supposed to lead the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans back to the Lord. But we know that that's starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Because you people are uh, the false leaders of this people. Cause our people to err. Cause us to go off. Cause our people to sin. You know? And see, I was glad because I, I, I was a brother uh, and a brother on the other side of the camp actually sent this. And um, he, uh, you know, instantly I, I just thought, man, this, this is out of control now. You know, but this is what our people want to see. But I, the thing was, it was an Instagram post. That's what it was. It was an Instagram post, and you could see the comments. And for once, I was pleased with the comments. Everybody was uh, dog, pretty much dogging Kid Cudi. Like, is this what you're doing for attention? Was it necessary? Uh, uh, you know, just, you know, I hate this generation. All kinds of stuff, you know. And so that's good to see that people are waking up and actually shaming this. But the thing is, he tried to say that this was a uh, tribute or homage, paying homage to uh, Kurt Cobain. You know, Kurt Cobain is he was a like a rock and roll uh, star. You know, he was a part of the lead singer of this group called Nirvana. You know, and and see what what are you, what's the what's the mentality that you're pushing? Kurt Cobain died from a, a so called suicide. You know, he killed himself with a gun. You know, but I wouldn't doubt that it, he actually did it because they even have a track. I was looking at some of their songs. They have a song called I Hate Myself and I Want to Die. You know what I'm saying? So even paying respect to that kind of ideology lets you know the destruction of our people. But really, he didn't he he didn't go out there to pay no respect to Kurt Cobain. All right. The uh the elites. All right. The people running the game, they say, hey, yo, you know. Kid Cudi's been on a little slump, you know. This is get him back in the game, but we need him to sell out. We need him. He trying to get to that next na- that next level in the uh, Masonic worship. So they like, hey, this is what you got to do. You are gonna go out here. You are gonna do this. You are gonna tell him that you are making a tribute to Kurt Cobain. 
And then that's going to be the reason why you performing in this dress. And you're going to smile when you do it, boy. And see, now that's perfect timing for when this clip just came up. You know, because uh, look look at your eyes, man. You When you got to... That's the thing. You can look at a man's eyes. That don't mean he... Just because he's smiling with his lips does not mean he's smiling with his eyes, man. You know, I had a verse that I wanted to get first. But since it just came up, I got to get this one out. This is... um. Luke, the 11th chapter, and uh, verse 34, it says, The light of the body is the eye. Therefore, when the eye is single, the whole body is full of light. But when the eye is evil and thy body also, thy body also is full of darkness. You see that? So at the end of the day, you men like you are selling your soul. All right. We see we see through your eyes, man. We know that this is really going into focusing on the Lord, man, but you focusing on wickedness. So yeah, 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 that's darkness and that's misery inside them eyes, man. That's not happiness. That's not joy. All right. That's not satisfaction. You know, that's self-destruction, self-implosion, a sellout spirit, man. All right. But this is Deuteronomy 22 and five. The Bible condemns you wearing that dress, man. Who you ignorantly call God, he he hates the fact that you put that dress on. All right. It says, The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy power. You see that? So women not supposed to be wearing pants, but you definitely not, you know, we've been uh, now with the women's liberation movements. They it's been uh, created a norm to see women in pants, but it's still not a norm to see men in dresses. All right. Even though they're trying to normalize that and they're trying to make sodomy and homosexuality. Okay. But it's not a normal thing. You still give a guy a sideways look if he's wearing a dress. Right. But in this, in this society, you do stuff like this and you're applauded for this, uh, this witchcraft, man. All right. That's what the scriptures talk about. Folly set. Folly is set in great dignity. You know, you try to they make it seem like, it, oh, it's OK, because he's paying. Uh, he's giving Kurt Cobain some love because uh, he he died uh, this week so many years ago and all whatever nonsense they tried to say, you know, but this is the effeminization of the so-called black male. See, this is a picture here that they have of Kurt Cobain wearing a similar dress, you know, but this is how, you know, they follow out the scriptures talk about how they follow after the ways of the heathen, you know, and this this is exactly what they do. Why? Why are you regardless of how great you thought this man was, regardless if he even seek? I doubt he's a Jake, but even if he was, you know, he looks like a straight up Edomite and he was in that rock and roll nonsense. That junk is is just crazy, man. You know, and this is this is. The um and I'm sure Nirvana probably has some songs that I that I know. It's just been so long, honestly. But nonetheless, the gen the, the following after this devil man. All right, this, he got a demonic spirit on him. You can see the spirit on him too. You know, you can see that spirit that's lying with him. Man, he looked like he was troubled. This is Wisdom of Solomon one and twelve. It says, "Seek not death in the error of your life, and pull not down upon yourselves destructions with the works of your hands." You see that? So you're not supposed to kill yourself. But now you're you're out on the stage singing with a dress on just because this man killed himself. Right. And that's another thing, you know, to be to be famous. That's why we need immortality to be truly famous in America. Now you got to die. That's what I've realized after this whole uh, Earl Simmons uh, DMX death. I have realized that, man. All right. After and I've been knew this, obviously. But I actually thought about it. I was like, man, like his charts, his his songs were like number one and two on the on the track list, you know, on the billboards and all of this kind of stuff. But people got to die. That's how you become a legend, right? But in our kingdom, we, hey, we we gonna be saying we we gonna be on our Rick Ross. We trying to live forever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We trying to live forever, man. And that's what's gonna be immortalized. That's what's gonna be glorified. Not because you died, man. You people, you 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 heathen, you so called white people, y'all gonna be the ones who are uh, dying in the kingdom. Shit, daily if a brother won't, and raise your ass back up, man. You know, but we're we're seeking immortality, okay. Um. So now I do want to go to uh, uh, one of the two of the curses real quick, 
Just because this this curse is upon our people, man. And look look at the what they did to you, man. Look how low you stooped, man. All right? Look how low you stooped, Kid Cudi. You know, when Kid Cudi first came out, I mean, he probably had songs before this, I'm sure. But the first song that I remember by Kid Cudi that banged was called Day and Night. Day and Night. Eh, you know what I'm saying? And, and it was like the person then is not the same person now, man. And they've corrupted you. You know what I'm saying? They defiled you. And you know when you when I when I read that uh for for him that wears a woman's garment it should be an abomination and in Hebrew that word is the the waiba, all right and it means a disgusting thing man, it says in rituals in in a ritual sense of uh unclean foods or idols and that's serving I- idolatry man, because also what who's the real idolatry of this uh androgynous demon this half man half woman demon that's Baphomet man. All right, that's the the demonic worship and satanic worship that they're pushing, making it normalizing for straight men to be effeminized and uh, put on TV screen wearing a pink and white dress like this, man. You're supposed to be a man. And now they've stooped you down to become less than a man. All right. This is a, uh, you know, and I, I don't, you know, when you hear about prisons and men getting like butt raped and stuff, I don't want that to happen to nobody. That shit just fucked up, man. You know what I'm saying? Even the most wicked nigga, I don't want that to happen to you. I'd rather just get put to death, but that that shit is messed up. But this is a, uh, how should I say? This is a televised uh, uh, mental butt rape, man. That's what this is. They basically just, the media and so-called, the so-called uh, uh, Zionists, you know what I'm saying? They just... Uh, televised, uh, like basically said, yeah, this is our bitch. That's really what they just did to you, man. All right. That's what they just did to you by making you wear this dress and by you complying just so you can make more money or your next album can be a banger or whatever it is, man. It wasn't worth it. But uh, this is Deuteronomy 28 and 37. It says, and thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb and a byword among all nations where the Lord shall lead thee. You know, we always bring up uh, the proverb and the byword, but it also the Lord says, thou shalt become an astonishment, man. It's because, look, this the men who are supposed to be the example of glory and what a man is for true masculinity, we're now made an astonishing thing in the eyes of the heathen, man. This is it's like, this is something that he says it causes a gazing stock. You know what I'm saying? This is like, damn, like... You all of the, all of our movies, all of our media, you men take these roles. You know, I always think about that. You got men out here that are taking these roles. All of our men are feminized. All of our men act act like pussies and hoes on TV now. Or they get if they're in a masculine role and they're supposed to be the man, somehow they get injured and now the woman is bigger or bad or or the Edomite is the leader. Or, you know, they all of our men have shaved shaved faces and bald heads and are wimps and pussies and they all of this is about the effeminization and the degradation, the degrading of the uh Israelite man. Okay? It's systematic. All right? And you're you're doing nothing but helping push forward this agenda. But see that's why the Lord calls this 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 uh this generation uh you know he says uh you wicked and adulterous generation but you also you know this is the generation that's gonna feel that example of that uh, judgment of thermonuclear missile and fire from the heavenly father for your wickedness, right? This is uh, Jude 1 and 7. It says, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, right? Because what are you pushing? You're pushing transgenderism and homosexuality with this. You got men that are here who think that you're attractive wearing this. You know, you got little girls that are confused, you know, this is strange flesh. This is confusion, man. It says, are set forth, are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. You see that? And so that that set for an example for you people, you Babylonians, who are about to get that fire coming from the heavens, from the heavenly father. And his son is about to return to this earth, man. All right. And this is Deuteronomy 28 and uh, 48. It says, I started 47, because thou servest not the Lord thy power with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things, 
Therefore thou shalt serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And we know as Israelites, we're in captivity. We got to go to our enemies for everything. But you literally go to Esau for everything, man. He put the, he, he put, he, he making sure you clothed and bathed. He even picked that dress out for you tonight. They said, nah, he's going to wear this one. <laughs> it says, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. And a, hey, that means we're going to be destroyed in the mind. And so now a hey, kid cut, you are destroyed, man. They have you completely gone now. All right. And along with the two thirds of our people who are destroyed in the mind. Right. And they're doing this to our men because if you break the men and if you break the men down and take the men out of the house, just like the Willie Lynch letter said, you now got a woman who, who hates her husband. You got children who hate their fathers. You got men leaving homes that are not good fathers, you know, and this, uh, you have this generational destruction of the Israelite and a feminization of the Israelite male. OK, and that 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 is pushed throughout the four corners of the earth. And, and see, even though Kid Cudi, you've never struck me as an effeminate man. You know, I've never gotten uh, like, yeah, you know, even though I know most of you entertainers are homosexuals, even if y'all act like it. You know what I'm saying? I do know that. But I've still never gotten effeminate vibes from you. But the agenda that you're pushing, check this out. This is First Corinthians 6 and 9. It says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High? Hey, so is it worth it, man? Is it worth Is Being unrighteous, is this wickedness worth it? All right? What you putting yourself through, what you putting your people through, what you putting your family through, most of all, what you putting your Lord through? Because you are an Israelite, man. All right? It says, uh, be not deceived. Be, that's, see, that's a deception to think that the unrighteous is going to get the kingdom, of, uh, the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven. Man. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revelers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of the Most High. You see that? So, you're not going you're not going to get it if you continue with this effeminate way. This uh this is a even though you might not be homosexual but you're pushing the agenda of homosexuality, man. This is a, a say this is a, a device of Satan and by Satan I mean the so-called white nation, right? And they're um they're the they're physical counterparts of spiritual demon Satan, man. And they got you to do their bidding. All right? Uh I guess I I'll, I'll wrap it up with this one. This is uh, Nahum. Actually, I got two more. Nahum 3 and 4. It says, Because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot, the mistress of witchcrafts that sell in nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcrafts. And see, this is... Uh, this is... Um, uh, Nahum seeing all the, the things, just like in Sodom and Gomorrah, seeing what's going on, seeing... Uh, uh, all of these demonic things happening, seeing all of this uh, men wearing dresses. He was seeing all of the same stuff, man. But he know that Babylon America, I mean, through the spirit, is pushing off this same agenda, this selling nations through whoredoms, drunk off the wine of Babylon. You know, that's, that's what's happening here, man. And so Esau has, uh, and these Amalekites, right? These fake Jews have taken this and now they... They uh, push the agenda of making our men seem belittled, right? Because if you can destroy the Israelite man, you can destroy the world, man. And that's what they think. But luckily, we have Yahweh Shai and we got the Holy Spirit, right, to fight for us. Okay? There is nothing they can do against this, man. Okay? And so let me, uh, right, so he, you know, I would just quote that one. But it says, you know, Michael 2 and 2, that says he, uh, he tried to destroy a man in his house and a man in his heritage. He don't want you to believe that you descend from uh, kings and princes, right? He don't want you to believe that you're a descendant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He rather seeing you as a simp being on a stage that will sell out for a dollar, all right? Which is about to collapse soon anyway, man. It ain't worth it, all right? Shit, Kid Cudi doing stuff like this, you might get uh, DMX next, you know? So, hey, man, gotta be careful and repent, man. This is Matthew 16 and 26. It says, for what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? 
For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works, man. All right? So, hey, ain't, what, what, is, what is worth your soul? What is worth getting destroyed by a missile? What is worth it, man? Shouldn't, shouldn't nothing, it, your, your soul should be priceless. And they shouldn't be able to just buy it so easily. But, hey, for the love of money is the root of all evil. And many have gone to destruction and perdition and fall therein, man. So, hey, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rakaq Uh You, you, uh, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David, the elect. Hey, keep fighting, keep pushing. Repent, repent, repent. Your call, your call, your call. Endure, endure, endure. Hey, men don't wear dresses, and women, if you can afford it or make it happen, start wearing uh start wearing dresses and get out of them pants. You know, that's beneficial for your health and your spirit. So uh Lord Willis lesson was edifying. Until next time, shalom.